Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. Today, we're on the Axe FX3, and I want to show you how you can use two amp blocks together with the multiplexer block to create seamless transitions between two different amp tones. To get started, I've got my daily driver, the USA Lead Mid Gain, set up with a whole bunch of gain. I'm using this LT TV Mix 7 IR that I made of a Marshall cabinet with 25 watt greenbacks. I shot this particular IR with the Axe FX3 and it is shared on Axchange, so you can get it for free if you want to try it. Let's just have a listen to this tone straight up. I'm using position four on my PRS Custom 24. <laughs> So a little bit brighter than the straight up humbucker tone that I would normally use with this sort of setup, but I don't mind it either. So what we need to do now, if we want to say switch between this and a clean amp, and we want to do it totally seamlessly, we could of course just use one of the other three channels on the amp block and the switching on the Axe FX3 is really fast for that. I'm going to set up another amp block with a lovely clean amp. But first, I'll just move this particular amp block over here. And what I'm going to do is select amp two. And I've got the double verb silver face dialed up at the moment. I'm going to connect these cables and I'm actually going to add the multiplexer block straight after this. And what the multiplexer does is it lets us select between different inputs. So you can see here on channel A of the multiplexer, the input it's selecting is row one. Now we have nothing assigned to row one. The second amp block, the clean amp is on row three. So I'm gonna go down here and select row three as my input. And now I should have that lovely double verb tone. <laughs> Now, for my taste, that is a little bit bright. I normally turn off the bright switch on this amp and I might just kind of bring the bass down a little bit and the treble up a little bit. We get this. Alrighty, I like that quite a lot. So what I'm gonna do, even though I'm on scene two at the moment, I'm just gonna save this particular scene with the multiplexer on channel A. So that's selecting my clean sound and we will set it up so that it is called clean. That makes a whole lot of sense. Now, what I'm gonna do with the multiplexer is I'm gonna to move to channel B and our dirty amp is on row four. So let's set up channel B to select row four as the input. I should have that USA lead mid gain tone again. <laughs> We got it. So what I could do is set up another scene where the multiplexer is saved on channel B. Maybe let's go to scene one. And I've already named this one dirty. All I have to do is set the multiplexer to channel B and hit save. So this is now my dirty scene. I'm gonna go back to channel two and check that the multiplexer, oh, look at that. It's on channel B as well. So it would still be selecting my dirty sound. I don't want that. I want it to select my clean sound, so I'll move to channel A, I'll hit save on that. Now what I can do, I've got an FC12 down at my feet, is just toggle between scene one and scene two. So the multiplexer is gonna change channels and in doing so it's gonna switch my amp sound. So let's start over on scene number one, the dirty sound, and I'll just play and switch over to my clean sound. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. We've got a seamless transition from a clean sound to a dirty sound. What's even cooler though, is we could set up much larger parallel chains in there. For example, let's say I want a compressor and a reverb on my clean sound, but I don't want a compressor or a reverb on my dirty sound. I want a phaser and a delay on my dirty sound. That's pretty easy to achieve. Let's drag these over. And what I'm gonna do is set up this clean chain here with a compressor and a reverb. So I'll put the compressor first. You notice how I've chained this up. So compressor number one, 
let's go with the JFET compressor. I love the way that one sounds. I'll just leave it at stock settings, but bring the level up a little bit. And then let's drop our phaser onto our dirty sound. I'm gonna use the, oh, what am I gonna use? The Stripe 90, that one will do. Then I'm gonna drop a delay onto my dirty chain down here. Let's go for the good old stereo BBD. Sounds pretty great at stock settings. And I'm gonna drop a reverb onto my clean sound. I'm actually gonna use one of the cloud style reverbs. So I have this big ambient reverb happening. We use Nimbo Stratus and we will bring the mix up. So. On scene one, dirty, I'm gonna have a phaser and a delay. Then I can switch over to my clean sound with reverb because of the way this is set up and because of the way the multiplexer crossfades. I'm already gonna have reverb happening on my clean sound. So it's gonna be a really seamless transition. <laughs> What I would then add to a preset like this is probably some time-based effects after the cab. I might add a reverb in there that is gonna act on both of those sounds and kind of ease with the transition from that particular really ambient reverb sound to the slightly drier lead sound on there. But again, that's a matter of taste. You can have kind of as many blocks as you want in this parallel chain and then feed them into the multiplexer so you can switch between really complex sounds or just simply use it to change between amps in a really straightforward fashion. I really hope this Tuesday tone tip was informative and useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have requests for future videos, also let me know in the comments. Until next week, stay safe, be excellent to one another, and thanks for watching.